everyone, it's Nona Grace. Now it's take four. Take one and two and three. Take one and two were not good. And take four or take three, the camera died. So now it's take four. So we'll start again. And it's all about chickens. So if you like chickens, stick around and listen to what I've got to say about the chickens. We tried moving the rooster house so that I could make a house for the two hens. We put the two hens in there and the two hens didn't like it so they're back in their nesting boxes in the, where they were originally. And the rooster house is in the middle of the fence area. But we'll leave it there for now because I don't know whether maybe when they hatch maybe I'll be able to put them in there and they can take care of their babies in there. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you that little video of the rooster house. I'm also going to show you a little video of Blackie and her babies. They were outside. That might be first. I'm not even sure what order these things were in. But last of all, you're going to get to see the little chick in my incubator has pipped and has hatched. Right now it's drying. It has to stay in there for at least 24 hours. So I will leave it in there. It's drying right now. It doesn't look very pretty right now, but it's it's drying. So you'll see the hatching of that. It actually took 11 minutes to hatch, but I sped it up. So you're going to get it in four minutes instead. And I put a little music to it. So when you hear the music playing, you know that's when the baby chick is hatching. So And my aunt passed away today. My Aunt Rosemary, she passed away. So if I'm hoping this little chick is a girl, because if it is... A girl, I'm going to name this little chick Rosemary. So that's what happened today. So let's go to the video and, and enjoy the hatching of my new baby. I would open the gate, but I'm afraid Blackie would move her babies if I do. She's outside with her babies. She wanted down out of the get out of the little house. Ooh, I see it's we've got the mesh stuff here to keep them from coming out. But that's that's her three babies. And she's dust bathing a well deserved dust bath. You're getting your babies dirty. Some of them one has a stripe. That one with the stripe has a little bit of a tail. Um the other two, well Sort of, but not really. One for sure doesn't have a tail. Let me try and open the gate and see what she does. Oh, I open the gate and of course she gets up. And she says, enough of that. I decided I'd come out and show you the rooster house. This is the rooster house as it is right now. It's got the steps here so I can get up in and go inside. This is the inside of the rooster house. As you can see, there's nothing on the walls. This is what's gonna be my maternity room for the, for the hens for the two ladies that are sitting on eggs right now. He's going to change it. I didn't videotape the moving of the rooster house. It didn't go like I planned. The movement went fine, but the, the chickens didn't like it. So I've just closed it up for the night. I'll open it again just for you to see. We had made nesting areas for the girls, but they didn't want to stay in here. We put up a roosting bar so that if they wanted to roost, they could roost, but they don't roost when they're sitting on the nests. But they didn't want to, they didn't want to sit in there. Gave them food, we gave them water. Oh my goodness. It's pipping. My little chick is going to hatch. See it? It's moving things. 
Come on, baby. You can do it. This will be great. Do you see the little hole? I don't want to open it because right now it's a dangerous time to open. Well, uh, what did you think of this little hatching video? They're not very pretty when they hatch, but they sure do get fluffy and pretty afterwards. So I guess now I've got to set up a little brooder. I've got to buy another light because the lights for the chicken are actually in here on me. So I'll have to buy another lamp. I have the red lights for the heat lights, but I have to buy another lamp because I'm using all of my lamps in here. So that's what I'm going to have to do. And I've got to do it soon because it's got to come out of there. Um, probably not tomorrow, but maybe the next day I might take it out. It's got to be in there for 24 to 48 hours. So when it's nice and dry, that's when the little chick will come out. And let's hope it's a girl. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. So you take care. Bye-bye.